Hello friends. In this session, we are going to see how to pass structure to function. Okay. So in C, it is possible that we can pass structure to function. Like in earlier sessions, we have seen how to pass array to function. We have seen how how to pass simple variables, uh, value of simple variable to function. In the same way, you can pass structure to function. So there are three methods of passing structure to function. So first method is passing. We can pass structure to function by passing individual members of structure. So consider there is a student structure uh, which has three members: roll number, average, and name. So we can pass these three members individually to function. Getting so that our function, entire function, will uh, our structure, entire structure will get passed. This is the first method. That is. passing individual members of structure second method we can pass structure variable to function so at a time we can pass structure variables to function and third method is we can pass structure to function by passing the address of structure variable so the third method is comes under call by address concept second method comes under call by value concept getting because we are passing the Uh, structure variable and first method that is depending upon your structure member which type of structure members you have used in your structure so based on those members it will decide whether it is call by value or call by reference or it is combination of both so we are going to see these three methods with help of c program so let us start with first method that is passing structure to function by passing individual members of structure getting so i have defined here main function so i will define one structure student i will take some members roll number average and then third mem uh, member is name of student and function uh, structure definition should end with structure definition now i will take here one member stuck uh, sorry i will take one structure variable that is yes now i will read the value of this structure variable with the help of then as there are types are data types are integer float and character that is array of character or character array so it is string address yes dot roll number comma address yes dot avg comma s dot name okay so with this you can read these three values from user now we are we need to pass these three values to function so i will take one function void display getting so this is function declaration will call this function inside main and after main there will be function definition so see we have defined our structure inside main we have read the values of this yes structure variable inside main getting and we are going to print these values these three values inside display so that's why there is need to pass these values getting and there are three methods so here we are focusing on first method so how to pass three values these three values individually we are going to pass structure members so how to take these three values so first value will be considered as yes dot roll number next yes dot avg and third one is yes dot name yes dot name so this three in uh, values will be passed individually okay so consider so first value is simple integer value second value simple simple float value and third value is simple it is string value that is that will be present in character array okay so see the first value will first and second value will be passed as call by value and third value will be passed as call by reference because because it is string 
and you know that whenever we are passing string or whenever we are passing uh, array it's a base address will get passed getting so it comes under call by address so see here both methods are required so for passing first two uh, values we require a call by value and for passing third value we require call by address getting now as first and second value simple integer and float value so we'll require simple integer variables getting so to collect roll number we require integer variable to collect float value we require float variable and third one is we are going to pass base address getting we are going to pass base address so we require what either pointer or you can take one array getting as formal parameter okay so same thing you need to do in function declaration a then formal parameter should be pointer getting so see i will demonstrate this with diagram consider this is yes variable yes structure variable okay first one is your roll number second one is see this is roll number this is average and this is name so consider values are 12 78.9 and consider name is a b c d getting so these three things will be passed and these three things will be collected in formal parameter getting so print those so first value is integer second value is float and third value is string okay. so print first roll number then average and third one is it is a n why n because it is a pointer and this n will have the address of that particular array it will have the base address of that particular array getting so let us see the output so give values so i think there is a problem see percent d percent f slash t percent yes okay so now check one second okay so the problem with next half see there should be percent f So you got your values on your output screen. Getting? So see what happened here. These are the three formal parameters. This is pointer. So see this is your R. This is your A. And this is your N. So base consider this is address this address is copied here here value is copied 78.9 here value is copied getting so here this is pointing to this getting that's why we are simply using here okay so this is what this is the first method of passing structure to function that is we have passed the individual members of structure getting thank you